Tonight, shocking new details surrounding what led up to a van being stolen in Port St. Lucie earlier this week. A nonverbal wheelchair bound man was inside at the time. Now, the man who was supposed to be caring for him is also facing charges. WPTV's Joe Lopez spoke with the victim's brother about that terrifying ordeal. I'm sorry that it happened and uh, I, I really like the guy. A Port St. Lucie man is behind bars, accused of abuse and negligence of a disabled person. As a matter of fact, the guy that ended up getting fired over it was his favorite. He, he loved the guy and they got along great. Police say a minivan that Ernso Og was driving belonged to the new elite group home. It was taken outside of a convenience store on Monday while Og was running errands. The 55 year old wheelchair bound man was still inside. What went through your mind when you heard what happened? Oh, what do you think? Panic. You know, you go, they have to find him quickly because he's on a feeding tube. The victim's brother, who didn't want to go on camera, says that his brother has cerebral palsy and a bad case of COVID left him wheelchair bound. Og regularly drove him places. A couple, three times a week they take him out. He goes to like a store like a Walmart or something like that or he goes bowling. Police say the day the van was stolen, Og left the man inside of the van alone on three different occasions. Once at the bank, once at the dry cleaners, and the last was to buy bottles of wine and liquor. Well, I didn't even know about that until I got the police report just a few minutes ago. That isn't what you do when you have a guy in the back of the van, you know. His brother has been with the home for five years. It's run by the driver's wife. She says she fired him immediately after the incident, saying his actions violated company policy. You plan to keep Scott in this group home? What are your plans now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The group home's been great. That's the best one I've ever had him in. Family tells me that the man appears to be doing okay. Meanwhile, we did speak with the owner of the group home who says she didn't want to go on camera, but that this whole incident has been very stressful for her and her family. Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.